Identify all the wire connections first. Power supply, fans, controls to the MOSFET. If you're starting with a CR10, you should have a MOSFET on the rear of the control box. And nozzle heater. Note, these are non-directional. You should have already run your filament sensor cable through the back of the control box. Get familiarized with the power connections. Ground, power, power, ground. Ground, power, power, ground. Now take the connections for the fans and slide them into the terminal. Take the connections from the power supply and one at a time insert them into the terminal above the fan connection. Tighten each one down before moving on to the next. After tightening down each pair, give them a little tug to make sure they're tight. Next we have our MOSFET controls. First is the power, then the ground. Remember, ground, power, power, ground. Also remember that the heater connections are non-directional. Give all the connections a final tug before you move on. Grab your filament sensor connector and plug it into the X positive that will be all the way at the top in this view. Next we'll be plugging in the thermistors. Bed, nozzle. Plug the part cooler fan into K fan. It's not critical that you do these in any order, just make sure you look at the board and plug the correct connector into the correct place on the board. Your board will either be labeled E0 and E1 or E1 and E2. For Z, there are two connections and it does not matter which one you plug in. After plugging in all the stepper connections, we'll move on to the end stops. X, Y, Z. Notice the tape on the back of the LCD. This is to protect the pins from contacting the power supply. Make sure none of these screws are too tight, otherwise you'll have interrupted display. Mark one of the cables with a 1 and mark the other side of that same cable. That way that cable can plug into expansion plug 1. Plug in expansion plug 2, then repeat the process on the motherboard. That's it for hooking up all the electronics. Put the control box back together and you should be good to go. If the video was a little too fast for you, that's okay. Hit spacebar to pause. Watch the video as many times as you need.